Shigori 12 and 13. Here's a video that derives the double angle formulae, following on from the work we've done in the class on the compound angle formulae. So you should find these much easier than the proof of the cos of A minus B, and I'm basically just following through what's in delta on page 324. So let's see our starting point. Remember the first compound angle formula that we looked at was this one the cosine of A minus B. And we had that that was equal to cos A, cos B, plus sine A, sine B. Now, the proof of that is in the appendix to delta, really nicely done, and you can watch the video that I've done going through that. We're going to take that as one of our starting points today. Okay, and we've got um, the other trig compound angle formulae. That come from that one. So the cosine of A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Right. So this one is going to be used in this video. And then we've got our two sine ones. We've got sine of A plus B, which equals sine of A cosine of B, so switching the sine and the cosine, plus cos, oops, sorry about that, cos A sine B, and we're going to use that one today, and the sine of the difference, sine of A minus B, so sine of A, cosine of B, minus the cosine of A, and the sine of times the sine of b. And then we've got 2 for tan as well. And tan of a plus b. So by now you should be pretty comfortable between delta and your new lake at, at using those with our special triangles to show things. Now the next step is that we'd like to find a formula that lets us work with cosine of 2a. Well, this turns out to be really easy. Cosine of 2a is just cosine of a plus a. Now, we know the formula for cosine of a plus b, so all we're doing is substituting in a for b. So we have cosine of a, cosine of a, minus sine of a, sine of a. So that equals cos squared of a minus sine squared of a. So that's the first one. First double angle formula. The cosine of 2a is equal to that. We're going to come back to that soon and get a couple of different versions of that that are also useful. But first let's look at the sine of 2a. Well, sine of 2a is equal to the sine of a plus a. So using the formula for sine of a plus b and substituting that in, we get sine of a times the cosine of the second one, cosine of a, plus sine of a, cosine of a. Right, so just shoving a into b in my formula gives us this nice result. That sine of 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. So that's helpful. The last one I'm going to do is, not surprisingly, tan of 2a. Okay, well, we have tan of a plus b is equal to tan of a plus tan of b over 1 minus 10a, 10b. So tan of 2a is going to equal tan of a plus a. So that's going to be tan of a plus tan of a over 1 minus 10a, 10a which is 2 tan a 
over 1 minus tan squared a. Right, so that's tan of 2a. So those three are my basic double angle formulae. However, there are a couple of really nice things that I can do with the cosine of 2a formula. So we'll move on to that now. Remember from last week that sine squared of a, any angle, plus cosine squared of a equals 1. Right, now we can see that. Just think about your unit circle. I'm not going to go over that again now, but that's one of the fundamental trig identities. And we can work with that here because we have found that cosine of 2a is equal to cos squared of a minus sine squared of a. So there are two things that we can do with this identity here. The first thing we can say is that cos squared of a is the same as 1 minus sine squared of a. Similarly, we can say that sine squared of a is equal to 1 minus cos squared of a. Now, if we substitute each of those expressions in turn into my double angle formula, we get some nice results. So let's first do a substitution for cos squared of a. So cos of 2a is equal to 1 minus sine squared of a minus sine squared of a. So that's 1 minus 2 sine squared of a. Now if I rearrange that, I get 2 sine squared of a equals 1 minus cos of 2a. So sine squared of a can be written as, oops, sorry just a sec, let me erase that, that's better. Right, sine squared of a equals one half of one minus cos of two a. Ah, big mess, sorry about that. Okay, so to try and make it easier to see, what are we really focusing on in here? Well, we've got cos of two a can now be written in that way. Or we can write sine squared of a like this. So recognizing these things when they pop up is a helpful thing to do in harder trig problems. Now the last thing I want to do is to take this formula and substitute in um, for sine squared of a. I'll do that on the next slide. Okay, so last one we had cosine of 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a but this time we're going to substitute in here no we're not, we've done that one, sorry, we're going to substitute in here um, so we have cos squared a minus, now sine squared a is 1 minus cos squared a so that equals 2 cos squared a minus 1 so we've got that cos of 2a is equal to that. Now the other way we can write that is that cos squared of a is equal to 1 half of 1 plus cos of 2a. Right, on the next slide I'm just going to do a summary of what we've got out about the double angle formula. Okay, so here they go. We've got cosine of 2a the basic version is cos squared of a minus sine squared of a. But with a couple of substitutions, we get two other versions of that. We get cos of 2a is equal to 2 cos squared a minus 1. Or we get it's equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of a. Right. The next thing we get is we get sine of 2a is equal to 2 sine of a cos of a. Now that's a really easy one to remember. Okay, and the last one is that tan of 2a is equal to 2 tan of a over 1 minus tan squared of a. 
Lastly, using this expression here, we found a couple of nice ways that I'll put in a different colour to write down expressions for cos squared of a. So cos squared of a is equal to 1 half of 1 plus cos of 2a. And sine squared of a can be written as 1 half of 1 minus cos of 2a. Okay, so that's how we derive those formulae. Um, the next video will look at some examples where we have to use, or where we can use those formulae to simplify problems. Thanks for watching.